Hello everyone. Today, we're gonna try something different. We're gonna go up in here in the woods and we're gonna do some mushroom hunting. Chanterelle mushrooms are starting to come out now. Uh, so there's some small ones, some decent sized ones back here. So I figured I'd take you back and show you what you can uh, find in the woods. Right now, I recommend anybody to get out. Um, it's kind of mid-July right now. It's a perfect time to get out. We've had a lot of rain. Actually, a little bit too much rain, so some of the mushrooms aren't growing like they normally would. But um, there are plenty back here. So let's let's go back and uh, go get some. All right. Okay. Okay, we're gonna stop here because I don't know if you can see already. But up there, see all those orange spots? That is all chanterelle mushrooms. And this hillside's usually covered pretty good. And I also know back over in here. And then also back over on the other side of the property here. So, like I said, they're starting to come up. If I can see them from here, there's quite a bit. So let's get up there and pick some. Okay. You can see all the orange here. This is all chanterelle mushrooms. There actually is decent size here, and I can actually see them all the way up through there. Actually, there's some nice ones up there. So, in fact, I think I'm gonna walk up that way. I've been letting them get a little bit bigger, so I've been watching them. But there is a lot here. Okay, one of the things that I like to have is I like to have a basket. It's an old thing that somebody taught me or told me about. I was always told to put them in a basket or a bag that has holes or whatever so the spores can fall out while you're walking around. So, what you want to look for is also carry a knife. Unfortunately, this is all I had on my four wheeler at the time. I forgot to grab another one, but I like to cut them off. And these are always very dirty, but you can look, the gills run all the way down. And the reason, part of the reason why they're called chanterelles is they'll have like a um, champagne glass to them, hence the part chanterelle. But these are all good to pick. Okay, this brings me to, to another point. These are relatively easy to identify. And you notice how they're just spots here and there compared to some other mushrooms you might see. There's one other mushroom that somewhat looks like this. In my time, I don't think they do anymore because I've been hunting for quite a few years now, but there's what they call the jack-o'-lantern. All right, here's a picture of a jack-o'-lantern. If you see this, leave it alone. Don't pick it, don't eat it, just leave it there. But you can see the gills on it, how they're real defined. Unlike a chanterelle, the, the gills are kind of embedded into the stalk on a chanterelle. And the next couple slides, you're gonna see how they grow in clusters. They always usually grow in clusters. So if you see them, just leave them alone. Also chanterelles grow on dirt. Unlike the jack-o'-lantern, jack-o'-lantern is always on some sort of wood, whether it's below the dirt where you can't see it, below the leaves, or on the side of a tree. Um, so keep that in mind too, chanterelles only grow on dirt. 
So if you come up to a tree and they're all bunched up in one spot, like a big cluster of them, more than likely those are jack-o'-lanterns. Do not pick those, do not eat them. They're not very good for you. They can cause you all kinds of bodily harm, my opinion. So when they grow in spots, just like you see here, those are the ones you want. See how these are all, they're kind of all spaced out. There is some other mushrooms here that I don't know what they are. And anything that I don't know what is, I do not pick. But you can see that there's some other ones here too. So I'm going to pick a few of these here. And also, I usually only pick enough for what I'm going to eat at the time. Yeah, see, these are nice. The other thing I've noticed too is chanterelles always have holes in them. I thought it was from worms, but I picked really young ones and they all have holes in them. But regardless, always take and wash them off good when you get them home. Uh, you can soak, soak them if you like. But the main reason why I wash them off is you can see that the rain splatters quite a bit of dirt on them. So it's always a good idea to wash them off to get the dirt off. Although the dirt will not hurt you, I don't like gritty food. There was a nice cluster. Like I said, you can see the gills in here. Let me get real close here. You can see how the gills go all the way down the stem. And it is a solid stem other than the small holes in it. nice handful let's go down here and pick some of these I usually like I said I don't I don't usually always pick them all um, but some people do I mean there's plenty here I don't want to get greedy but also they're really good to eat so if you can get them while they're here definitely definitely take them some people uh, dry them. I've never done that. See, that's a nice one there. I think I'm going to stop there just in a short amount of time. You can see I filled my basket pretty good. All right, everyone, let's do a recap here. So you can see how the chanterelle grows. You can see it kind of looks like a champagne glass. So that's part of hence the name again. And one of the main things you look for make sure you look at these gills that go all the way down it's a solid stem other than you know wormholes or whatnot that's in it so this is kind of what you're looking for now these grow in small clusters once in a while you might find something like this but this is a small cluster and you can see how they have the, all the thin edges this is what you're looking for. Now, if you find ones, like I said, look up jack-o'-lanterns because they are similar to this, but in my opinion, they're not, but always be safe. The other uh, thing you should do is anytime you try any wild mushroom, only cook up a small amount of it and eat it and try it. You may have a reaction to it, even though they are safe for you to eat. It is always recommended to eat a small dose if it's your first time then after that you know what you're picking and everything you kind of get used to it you can make large meals i like to fry these up 
and onions and peppers, especially fresh from the garden. And then sometimes I'll take and put uh, like deer meat sliced real thin in it and use it for like steak hoagies. It's excellent. Um, sometimes I'll put it in chicken, you know, make like a chicken sauce with the mushrooms and everything over it. It's excellent. There is a num numerous amount of things you can do with these. And you've seen how many is back actually over here. We're on the other side of my hill now. Over there is where we were. Um, there's tons more over here along with whatever I didn't pick over there. And I never checked this hillside. I'm sure there's a ton there. I may start thinking about de uh, dehydrating them. You can dry them out and then, you know, rehydrate them whenever you go to eat them. But this is what you're looking for. So enjoy.